Hey, welcome to Easy Computer Fixes and today we are talking about a scam that's been going around that's actually very very popular because I've uh, as a tech guy I really really uh, had a lot of clients that actually fell into this uh, well you turn on your computer one day and uh, either the computer is fine but your browser is locked your browser is locked into this Royal Canadian Mountain Police stuff. If you're in the United, the United States, you'll have one uh, similar, but it has uh, FBI written on it, and it will have uh, all sorts of uh, local police. If you're in a different country, you'll see probably the name of your local police. And your computer's locked, you just can't do anything. It's a full screen thing, it actually hacks your browser into uh, uh, just showing you a full page um, hack here and the problem is since it's full page and you have access to all uh, oh, no tools at all what happens is that you just can't do anything about it because you're just locked there so how do you remove it by yourself um, most of these are quite easy to, re to remove uh, most of the computers I've seen with that uh, are um, basically not really locked, but unless you have a way to go around it, you just don't know and can't use any tools to remove it. So uh, first of all, you get that. Don't be scared. The police didn't get you. The police didn't uh, actually look at what you were doing. Um, so that's the first thing, because I, I know a lot of people... Uh, a lot of my clients that actually call me and you can see that by the way they talk they're kind of a little scared and uh, most of the time it's because you know they've been either on porn sites or maybe they were on some music sites where they're downloading illegal music illegal stuff uh, it's not complicated most of the time when people get these things they either go to sites that we shouldn't actually go that's illegal downloads of stuff uh, or they went to porn sites and uh, basically you scoop up this uh, after you click on something or uh, if you have uh, haven't applied all the updates in your computer you can easily get infected with this type of scam so how do you remove it well the best way is when you have it full screen shut down your computer if you don't have a shutdown button just press the power button on your computer a uh, quick press should shut it down. If it doesn't do anything, uh, press and hold the power button for at least five seconds and it's going to shut down your computer. Next thing you want to do is to restart your computer in what is uh, safe mode. But not all safe mode works. So first, try safe mode. And to go there, if you don't see the menu, when your computer restarts, there's a specific place, usually just after the computer logo. For example, I have a Toshiba logo that pops up. Right after this, usually I press F8. The F8 key is the key to uh, getting your diagnostic. And you should see this appear. If you press F8 at the proper moment, you uh, really should see this. If you can't really find it, it's not recommended, but if really you just can't go into safe mode, in, uh, just start your computer and when you see that little Windows logo telling you that it's actually uh, loading, uh, shut down your computer completely and it's gonna probably make this page appear afterwards because it thinks you have a problem. But try the F8 key, it's really the best way to do it. Uh, just after usually the logo, so if you have an HP, Acer, Toshiba logo, or uh, you know you see it in a black screen and has these, this little text and it's uh, looking at the drives and stuff, well just after that little test, you'll have to find when it happens because the problem is just on some computers it's a little hard to see where you press the F8 key actually. Then you'll have your choice. Safe mode, safe mode with networking, and safe mode with command prompt. Try safe mode first. It's going to bring you into Windows, and basically, 
you should see this happening. It's going to bring you into safe mode, which is a uh, stripped down version of your Windows computer. Safe mode is basically everything Windows needs to load to work but no drivers and no software uh, starting up. That's the first thing you uh, will probably need to, uh, to check. So check, this is the first one. Check safe mode. On some particular police scam stuff, I've noticed that safe mode doesn't work because when you're into your safe mode, it actually starts the scam once again. But in the case that you would not see the scam appear, and that you'd, you would be into a Windows uh, folder, then I would recommend that you go into uh, your start menu and start typing at the bottom system restore. Go into a system restore. If you can't type it or you don't know where to go, just go into your start menu, go into all programs, go into accessories, and then go to system tools and you should see system restore you click on that and hopefully you won't have the message I have here because I turned it off because the hard drive is too small but basically you'll have this uh, system restore you'll click next and what's gonna happen is you'll see a calendar with dates or if you have a newer version like Windows Vista and 7 you'll see restore points with dates and times so what you'll do is click on your restore point and go into your restore point uh, before you had the virus. That's the basic way. If you are in safe mode and it works, this is cool. Be just by clicking a restore point before the virus, you'll be okay. Now, in the case where it doesn't work, you're in safe mode and you're computer still displays the uh, police page and it's full screen and there's nothing you can do about it uh, then what happens is you have a second choice that usually works pretty well I haven't seen any uh, occasions with the Canadian police one and I basically I think all the variants that you see are okay or pretty much the same it's just the text that is changed and the logo so go into again your safe mode by pressing F8 but this time you'll choose safe mode with command prompt. What that changes is that instead of having a desktop safe mode with command prompt will display a command window and most of these scams cannot overrun the command window so um, this is the second choice if your safe mode didn't work and what it's going to do is going to bring you to that page where you click your uh, user account or your profile in Windows. But this time you'll have a command prompt instead of having a desktop in the background. So basically you're here and you should see the command prompt window show up as soon as window has loaded. What's interesting is when the command prompt loads, it prevents some other pieces of software from actually loading. So this is why a lot of the uh, viruses of that type are not affected when you're in command prompt because the command prompt will just stop the loading time of everything in the background. So you're here in the command prompt. What do you do? You should be in system uh, in Windows slash System32. If you're not, uh, what you should do is click CD dot dot enter CD dot dot enter until you see just the C command prompt. If you're here Windows System32, don't change anything. You are right on track. It's what you want. If you're not, Windows CD dot dot until you're at C uh, colon slash and you have that little command prompt you'll type CD Windows CD system 32 and CD restore here you will type the command R S T R U I 
restore, which is uh, the restore feature. So R S T R U I, enter. You should see appear the system restore feature. Click the next button at the bottom and just follow the instructions. Restore your computer to a date that is before your problem, but not too far away. If you restored your computer successfully at a good date, what's going to happen is that you usually will have access to Windows once again. So what you want to do next is scan your computer with an antivirus, anti-malware program because now that you restored, the files of that virus are still on your hard drive and can potentially re infect your computer which is not a good idea so you really want to remove all these files left behind by your computer uh, so to do that either use a good antivirus if you have one that's working scan your computer do a full scan with your computer uh, with your antivirus software if you don't have one or you don't know what to choose I would suggest that you download the free uh, Malwarebytes anti-malware software. This is, I would say, one of the best around for detecting these scam and these uh, viruses that make your computer run basically in a uh, with a little virus, that little police virus type uh, scam. So um, if you want to scan your computer after and you should scan your computer even though everything looks right everything looks fine um, I really really recommend that you scan your computer with an antivirus so like I said if you want to have something to scan your computer what you can do is go on the web and just type www.malwarebytes.org in the address bar directly and you'll be sent to this page where you can download the free version of Malwarebytes and install it in your computer and uh, once it's installed all you have to do is uh, scan your computer um, this is really probably one of the best pieces of software you have you can install on your computer to check for viruses and malware so once it's started, all you have to do is follow the instructions. When it starts, I'm going to say that the uh, database is old and it needs to uh, probably download the new database. So you leave it there doing that. And once it's started, you just uh, scan your computer. You click the search button and uh, you'll see it scanning. All you have to do is uh, remove everything you see in the list when the scan is over. So that's uh, pretty much the way you can uh, remove that uh, RCMP, uh, FBI, or whatever local police you have scan that uh, affects your computer. Uh, there is one little variant that I know that you can't really apply any of what I just said. It just doesn't work. So uh, we'll try to do a video uh, to explain how to remove that one in the coming days. But I would say that this trick that I show you here uh, will probably help you um, remove 95% of these uh, police scam pages that appear. Um, one word also, if you are just watching this video now and uh, saying, well, oh, that's nice to know, uh, make sure your system restore is actually activated because a lot of the computers um, that I've seen actually have system restore disabled so uh, check your system restore to make sure it works and uh, keep in mind that viruses also are um, intelligent enough to uh, disable system restore and stuff like that uh, I've even seen uh, some viruses that when you go in safe mode because it knows that you can actually change stuff it will not load into the desktop it, as soon as you click your user account it shuts down so uh, lots of little details like that so hopefully you've got it 
hopefully you follow the instructions here and hopefully you said thank God it's gone just scan with the program like malware bytes and uh, remove everything it finds and uh, hopefully you'll be okay and uh, hey don't go back to that website where you actually got caught um, if you f were surfing porn and you go back exactly where you were chances are you're gonna get it again make sure also that your computer is um, really all the updates are done so uh, that's another very important feature so thanks for watching and uh, if you enjoy our videos please subscribe to our channel and uh, if you have any comments questions maybe you have a request of something a problem or a uh, feature that you'd like us to talk about in easy computer fixes let us know and uh, hope you come back to our channel bye bye